Hey there, tall, small, and in the walls. This is Nerens, and today we are playing Bramble the Mountain King. Now, in our last episode was a bit heart-pounding, a little heart-stopping, but we managed to catch up to the wid midwife. We defeated her, found the woman, but unfortunately could not save the child. But we left behind a little rubber duck, hoping that his soul would not become one of the other fallen, some of the other shadows. And we perused a library where we found a very interesting book which mirrored the story that of Rapunzel, the magic flower, was supposed to be able to save the child. But uh, we never really found the end to that story. But in the meantime, we need to go find Lilymore and leave the library and our wonderful companion here. Thank you for letting me stay in your library. Alright. You hear something? Samantha? Samantha? Okay. Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice. Oh no. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. Is there an investigation check I can roll or try? Because that is suspicious. That I know that's not my sister. I know this is just an illusion. Oh, but... Mm-mm. I don't like it. I like these flowers, though. Oh, no. This is going to turn out to be another jump scare, isn't it? Our pattern of... Beautiful and then macabre is uh, slowly deteriorating, if I do say so myself. Stop whispering in my ears. I like these flowers. Are these poppy flowers? Oh no. <laughs> She'll protect me? No, she won't. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Oh no. Who are you? Get behind the tree. Get behind the tree. Oh no. Who are you? Giant tree nymph? Oh no. I mean, you're beautiful. Oh, she has tracking shots, evidently. That's not good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, evidently there are audio cues. Their tree, there you are. Learning new things as we go along, evidently.
Oh. Oh, I almost had that shot, too. It's not that funny. Death and destruction is not really that funny. <laughs> Once again, demonstrating my complete lack of gameplay ability. for her other cue. Alright, the next one should be on the tree. Get away from the trees. Creepy. Don't get me. didn't make that one. Needles. Seeing someone evidently. Well, oh, she's beautiful. No, oh no, is this the second part of the boss battle? No, no, you don't have her. You don't have my sister. You don't. Come on. <gasps> Look at you. You have a sword. Oh, get it, Tater Dot. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, now we made her angry. This is not good. Not listening. Something new's coming.
get away, get away, get away. around oh no where do I have to start okay I what all of these different languages mean Oh dear. Oh, I'm getting faster. What's she going to do about that? Absolutely nothing. Gracious, don't laugh, that's not that funny. These are falling. Like when I attack her minions, so evidently that is what I'm going to be doing. Careful. Has to be someone else. There has to be someone else. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Be third. Oh no, now there's no place to hide. Uh, she is very pretty, though. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Oh, is this meteor swarm? Keep moving. How far away can I get? Oh, 
it. The starlight. at the front. We need to be at the front. Oh, this is so much worse than Meteor Swarm. Oh, a little bit further away. Oh, charge. Charge. Now is not the time to be hesitating. Charge. Charge forward. Go, go, go. I know. She's breathing heavy. I think we all are at this point. Come along. Almost. Almost. Don't try to get away. Not after what you did. Unprovoked. to see how, whether or not I actually spare her life, or if I just do the one killing blow. Very interesting. I'd be wondering how many times you all would have gone through, made sure she was gone. So now, there we are. Oh, are we back to the charming portion of the program? Ola, what have you done? Two of us voice called out to him. What do you mean, what have I done? She came after me first. Unless you're asking about the whole fire, at which point she is actually the one who set the entire fire. Oh my goodness. No, she is the true fire hazard here. What have I done? Was there a way? Ooh, this is interesting. Was there a way to peacefully go about this? Because I stabbed her so many times, did this happen? Giant's cart. Oh no. 
Who are all of them? Who are all of these people? Sad. Is everything destroyed? <coughs> well, I know. I have to get sick sometimes. Be careful, the little rat. This is our town. Taking a little shot. A common, all of these birds coming through. Oh no, the ominous music is starting up again. Here we are. Are we permitted to go inside? What is... Oh no. Do I even want to know? What does that do? Oh no. Okay. I have that now. A witch doctor hat. to get around. What happened to you? I wonder if anyone can translate that. Don't come after me. I've had a day. You stay put. What are you? What are these things munching and crunching on bodies? I'm not worried about that right now. Go inside. I guess we're going inside of this outhouse. Can we get around? No, evidently not. Hang on. Let's see what we can do. Ah, here we are. No. I can go around them, am I? How do I... How do I get around them?
No, no, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything. Just shush. Just shush. Oh no, I can't even use the power, oh no. Okay, so we're just going to rely on our sneaking skills to get around these interesting creatures. I can do set loose. Oh, this is going to end so poorly for me. <gasps> They'll never know. They'll never know they're too hungry hungry right now to worry about a little more so like me. Oh no. Come along. Nice and quiet. a light at the top, okay. Oh no. More rituals. Once there was a peaceful village near a great forest. One night, people began to see a beautiful woman with long dark hair lurking in the shadows during the full moon. Okay men started to follow her into the forest. Some of them never returned, uh -huh. and those who did had lost their minds. No. Eventually, Eventually the yeah. villagers had enough. They took all the dark-haired women of a certain age and put them on trial for witchcraft. That's who I saw. All of the women. They started to execute them, hoping to find the right one. Yet men kept disappearing during full moon nights. Oh no, that the was who we saw. Grew more and more desperate, and burned down a large area of the forest in the hope of finding this strange, beautiful woman. But the villagers had lost themselves. They killed their own mothers and daughters. They burned down more of the forest that had served them with resources. Then one night, when the moon shone at its brightest, five brave men took matters into their own hands. They put on their coats and walked into the burnt forest to hunt for the woman with the dark hair. Something tells me this didn't go After well. After a time, they saw the beautiful woman standing in a clearing. The men were instantly enchanted and followed her deep into the forest's heart. Oh, uh, yeah. She was a shapeshifter that mimicked what men wanted to see in order to lure them away. When they were close enough to touch her, she transformed into something monstrous. She ripped their chests open, hung them up in the trees, and drew strange powers from their still beating hearts. And 
Uh, that's what I was seeing. Go back outside. We're going to be quiet. We're not going to alarm the scary creatures. All right. It's very sad that things like this actually have happened before. I'm just wondering who these poor souls were. They have strange vines coming out of them. I was wondering what that was. Those are ac those actually look like the um, the bramble coming up out of their bodies. Okay. Completely dead. No growling here today. We're just gonna take this. Who was the sound engineer for this? Because this is absolutely vile. I'm not going to bother your food. I'm not going to bother your munchies. I'm not going to disturb a single morsel. Oh! running for it is the best option since to get through here. Yeah, no, running is definitely not the best option. Okay. Perhaps going through the water. Okay, I think I see the path ahead. So if I go quietly through the brush here, Try not to make too much sound, and then off to the left over there by those birds. I can probably hop up on top of the coffin. There's a lot of phrase you hear every day. You would think that because I'm covered in blood that they would not think to bother me. I better drown if I do this. Oh, please get up. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay, so that was the right way, but I pressed the wrong thing in order to get out. Oh, I don't like the way they shamble. The way these monstrosities have uh, their heads kind of lolling off to the side. Are they just playing in the viscera of the fallen? They also move. A little quick for things that are probably dead. Okay. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. We just stand. Time to get up. Over here. Over here. Huh. Get up. 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 Run. 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 Okay. Please run with a bit of haste. We don't like to not use toothpaste. Okay. Okay, hopefully these things cannot swim. In the off chance they can. Oh no. <gasps> what on earth is making all of these terrifying sounds? Get out, get outside, okay. Oh. 
Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Um, I've got a better idea. Oh, no. Okay. So I can get up in the red. Oh, I don't like the way your head just lulls behind you like that. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I like that there's grass on top of these little homes. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get this through this in the appropriate amount of time. Okay, down we go. Oh no, another one of these puzzles. Unfortunately, I think this is where we are going to end for now. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a whirlwind experience. I hope you are enjoying this story as much as I am. This has taken so many unexpected twists and turns. If you like it, leave a comment down below. Give us a like. Cheers. And as always, stay awesome. <laughs>